If you're starting with this video, I suggest you go back and watch the previous one in the series, but if you've seen it or know a thing or two, just jump aboard. Today, we're talking about the head and shoulders pattern. Don't you worry, you're still watching a video about Forex and not the shampoo brand. Okay, the head and shoulders. This usually occurs when a market trend is about to reverse. So if there's an uptrend, the head and shoulders should push it the opposite way and vice versa. Also, if you decide to be a swing trader or a day trader, no worries there, this will suit both time frames. You know the saying that the chart is only perfect in the past? Well, of course that is the case. But to understand the future and to make the right move in the future, you have to build a foundation from the past. Same goes for every book you've ever read. Technically, it is old information when the book is released. Doesn't mean it's useless, does it? So before you say I have cherry picked the charts here, I will in fact give you guys examples of how the head and shoulders pattern looks on a chart once it is formed. And then you can go ahead and apply what you've learned to your specific trading needs. We're all different, so you must tailor the information you learn to your necessities. Not every trade is going to work out no matter what strategy you use, so keep that in mind. And let's see how this pattern looks in action. Since the head and shoulders pattern is a reversal pattern, first we must identify the trend. How serious is the trend and how recent? This is super important because if it's a super long trend that's been going on for months, well, it's likely that the head and shoulder pattern won't reverse the trend by any meaningful amount. Imagine you've been going to the gym for one year straight, not skipping any days, and then you decide to have a week off. Well, I'm not a fitness expert, but I'd say it's highly unlikely that you will start losing all your progress by just having a week off. Well, same goes for trends. So this is one thing we have to keep in mind. Here we have a textbook head and shoulders pattern that formed two days ago on the Euro Australian dollar pair. A short term trend reversal since we're looking at the hourly chart here. So what happened? We have a bullish run here. Prices are going up, going higher and higher, but the sellers are coming into the market, stopping the advance. The left shoulder is formed. Once again, the buyers come back into the game saying we are on a strong bullish run, bears can't stop us, and they push the price even higher to correct the pullback. This is where the head forms. Next up, there is one more attempt by the bulls to get the price up to where it was, but again, the sellers are rallying and trying to get the price down. They succeed and the sh right shoulder forms. Now, you see, is it pattern complete? Wrong. You see, we have this thing called the neckline that we can draw between the lows of the head and the shoulder. Now, a common mistake amongst Forex traders is to assume that the pattern is complete once the right shoulder forms. This is actually wrong because it's not ready for confirmation yet. Actually, what we're looking for here is the price breaking the support line, also called the neckline for this pattern. If the candlestick closes below the neckline, it is clear that the bears have taken control and only then the head and shoulders pattern is confirmed and tradable. So this is what we're looking for here. This red candlestick here, remember, open, opens higher, closes lower. It has clearly closed below the support line. And this is what we're looking for here. The candlestick must close below the neckline and only then it is a strong indication to open a sell position. And all this area here is where we make our profit. We set our stop loss a few pips above the neckline just to be sure. Okay, what if we flip it upside down? Well, the same principle applies, only this time it is called the inverted head and shoulders. We have the left shoulder here. In the middle, we have this bearish run with the reversal and the right shoulder over here. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Once again, we have to draw the neckline to see where the candlestick closed. As we can see here, the neckline is touching this area, this area, and our green bullish candlestick has clearly closed open here, closed here, clearly closed ab above the neckline, and we can confirm that the pattern is complete and we can open a buy position here. We set our stop loss a few pips below the support line, the neckline, just to be sure. So pretty simple. And all this area here is where we make our profit. This was a brief overview of the head and shoulders pattern now you can go ahead and backtest it on your trading platform. If you're not sure, you can test it with a demo account or just copy a trader who is trading off of this pattern. We'll be back with the next one in our list shortly. Thank you for watching Finance Illustrated. We are out.